Hi guys, so continuing my autumn style series, today we're gonna talk about theatrical romantic body type. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kiwi body types playlist, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Before you watch this video, I recommend you to click here or I'm gonna leave the link down below on my summer style law series because there we're talking about basic layer, top and bottom or dresses. It's very important to know because today we're gonna talk about layering. What is the biggest problem for theatrical romantics in autumn? Normally it's bulkiness because oversized nowadays is trendy. They have such a delicate bone structure, they almost have bird-like bones, like David Kibi described in his book. You can imagine how easy you can make them look bulky and untidy. And on top of those delicate bones, they have some flesh, some softness, roundness. What is their rule number one for layering? So narrow hourglass silhouette is best for them, with waist. If no waist, then it should be very narrow and not too long. That is the basic law. Things that might not look good on you, is severe silhouettes, oversized and unconstructed, or something too tailored and straight, and long vertical lines that hide the waist. Let's be more specific now, let's talk about sweaters. David Kibbe in his book Metamorphosis says that plush fluffy knits with soft necklines and ornate trim is best for theatrical romantics. In the 80s it looked like that. Today we don't have very much of that, but I found different options that are very close to this description. For example, sweaters can be knitted in quite ornate way. Now, if we talk about shapes, short shaped styles that are fitted at the waist and wrists are better on you than something long, straight and unconstructed. If you talk about stripes, I think Classic stripes look good on everyone. It's just the matter of the outline. For example, on this picture is an amazing example how you can incorporate such a geometric pattern into your outfit. Look at that narrow hourglass shape that she created with her outfit. Her pants are slightly wide at the hips, she has waist emphasis, and her striped top doesn't look very severe. It kind of looks rounded. That would look great on you. Now, if it's polo, sometimes it can look quite severe, so maybe you can look into shorter options in this case and narrow options. You might not look as good in heavy bulky knits, in very skinny ribbed knits, because they kind of create that narrow vertical line and you need to accommodate your curves. And also something shapeless and baggy. It just can't hide your body completely. It won't be any more elegance there. Again, unless you want to go for that style. Selena Gomez is a theatrical romantic, but she goes for those baggy styles on purpose. This is trendy nowadays. But I think as woman gets older, she gets more and more elegant. So on her, that would not look elegant enough. So I think when Selena Gomez becomes older, she would go for something narrower and really fitting her body. If we talk about cardigans, soft, narrow and delicate looking would be best. If they're thick, then preferably narrow. With belt is much better than without belt. Cardigans with peplum and lantern sleeves are great if you want to go for that style. In the 80s that looked a little bit different. Today cardigans with peplum are quite rare. I don't see it very often on the streets. It looks dressy, it doesn't look casual, but still it will upgrade the casualness of your style a little bit. And I was trying to find the shops good options like this and I found several and I liked them very much actually. And I think that in those basic colors without any additions, it would probably blend into your outfit very well. For example, this is also cardigans with peplum, but I don't recommend this. From my viewpoint, they look very dowdy. I mean, not in this knit, not in this shape, not in those colors, not in those patterns. You always have to use your judgment a little bit in your perception and I know you will be able to tell. Now, if we talk about narrow wrap cardigans, it's best when the belt is around the waist because some wrap cardigans, the belt can actually be on your hip. So that would look slouchy on you. This is gonna work. That will accommodate your own curves, your own waist, which is great. The length of the cardigan can be from cropped to long. If it's cropped, best if it's not too wide and bulky and unconstructed, better closer to the body. If it's longer, then preferably if it's narrow and especially with belt. You might not look as good in something too long, too bulky and too unconstructed, too unshaped or something too severe looking. So cardigan that is made as a blazer, double-breasted blazer that kind of is making you very flat here. It will hide your curves. You are prominent. So we need to accommodate that prominence even though it's quite delicate. Jackets and blazers. Best if it's narrow with waist. And again, we come to this point where jackets with peplums would look great on you. This is 80s jackets with peplum. That is quite different looking, right? Especially with ornate trim. That would look great on theatrical romantics, of course. And that was the description in his book. Nowadays, fashion changed. So that kind of blazers 
can look slightly dowdy. I still found some great examples. Again, maybe not such extravagant colors or patterns would be good. It will calm down this piece so it would not be too loud and it will look very classy and quite elegant, especially if you are dressing up. If you want to dress it down a little bit and you still want to have a blazer, then best if the blazer is not extremely tailored and straight looking, better if it has some waist, better if it's slightly softer in fabric or in texture. Leather jackets as delicate as possible. It's quite a severe piece, it's quite straight piece. For you choose softer leather, choose narrow piece and not very elongated. And also try to balance it with something very delicate and quite feminine on the bottom. Also if we talk about denim jackets, same situation, as narrow as possible, not too oversized and not too slouchy. If you are still using this as a trendy piece, it has to look puffy like a bomber for example. You can go for that, but then keep in mind that everything else preferably should be narrower, more delicate. And of course David Kibbe in his book writes a lot about ornateness, how it's your best friend and you can't go wrong with any ornate pattern. But ornateness is a quite dressy element and I understand that because that delicate pure 50s glam in the basic meaning of this word looks great on you and that is amazing because you are the type who can easily pull that off. But then when we talk about casual things, this is where we have a little bit more of a problem. This is the difference with naturals, with soft naturals. Soft naturals in casual clothes, in blaring, they look like home. And for theatrical romantics, we need to try to incorporate that in their style. This is what I'm always trying to keep in mind when I'm doing this series. For types that are curvy, that have different bone structure, for types that are not tall, for all these ladies, it's harder to find pieces that would fit, especially that would be quite casual and wearable. Not many women want to attract a lot of attention. Many women just want to dress up needs elegant, expensive, but not to be fashionista. So I'm trying to choose pieces for those videos that are as calm as possible, as effortless as they can be. Let's go to coats. Those classic coats and trenches, if they are trim, delicate and narrow, are great for you. Of course, belted coats look much better on you than not belted coats. Not belted coats just look a bit separate from you, like a cocoon, like a blanket or as if somebody wrapped you into a carpet, which is also fine, you know, sometimes this is just that style. Again, example with Selena Gomez, she likes to wear those oversized pieces without waist and it's kind of trendy, it's kind of cool, especially for teenagers to look like that. And you can still try that, but then it preferably should be very small size. It should be narrow, it should not look too oversized and the rest preferably would be like a candy. Rounded lapels are better than sharp. And if they're sharp, it's better if they're narrow as opposed to large. It's just better for you, your facial features are not large. You can have coats shorter or longer, but still better if the length is above ankles, not longer. If it's too long, too wide, unconstructed, too bulky, too straight, that is too far from you. If we talk about coats with peplum, again, it reminds us a little bit of that 19th century women dresses. But it's nice, you know, some women like that style. And many shops are actually selling this now, so you can try that. Shoes should be delicate, classic and timeless. This is best for you. So basically anything that they sell in the shops today is for you, except for something too chunky and heavy, including loafers that have chunky platform. Probably a bit too far from your vibe. You need something a little bit more delicate or something with wide ankle. I don't recommend shoes with wide ankle to any body type because ankle is our delicate part. Showing our ankle is amazing, unless it's super cold and you wearing Uggs, but then who cares? Now let's go to scarves. Anything from thin to thick would look great. If it's slightly warmer outside, you can go for chiffon or silk scarves. You can go for different kinds of patterns but the best of course would be ornateness. Different kinds of florals would look great. Even small stripes, animal print pattern would look amazing. I just don't recommend something too geometric and huge pattern. Now if it's colder you can go for cashmere scarf or woolen scarf, probably not extremely big like a blanket, it will just cover you completely. Better choose something narrower, still long but narrower. Now if we talk about winter and puffers, I'm talking about it in this video. I'm gonna leave the link down below, all the body types in one. So if you want to invest into to winter pieces in advance, you can watch this video, it will be very helpful. And those laws actually will work for you many years from now. It's not about trends, it's just about your personal shape. 
Also, I found amazing pieces for you, just for your reference, so you would check that. All the links I'm gonna leave down below under this video. Let me know where are you from, what kind of autumn do you have? Is it very cold or very warm? Is it humid or not humid? What do you normally wear in autumn? Is it mostly coats and scarves and hats? Or is it something lighter, like trench or jacket or blazer? Let me know, I'm very curious. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.